Hello everyone and welcome to a little testing, product testing, product review on a collection that I was so excited to see. I decided to wear my Pilly Sailor Moon sweatshirt from Christmas to celebrate with you all. We have got some of the products from the Sailor Moon ColourPop collection that recently launched and sold out quite quickly. I was very happy that I hopped on there. I believe what was it noon time when at least here in Minnesota when it released and I within five minutes got my stuff. I don't know, I'm on ColourPop's PR list, but they don't send me everything. That's not me being ungrateful, but sometimes like for collections like these, it like stresses me out because I'm like, well, are they gonna send it to me? Should I go through, like buy them? But in this case, I wasn't willing to risk it. So I figured if anything, if they do send me PR, great, I can do a little giveaway here. But unfortunately, I'm sorry to say, no PR for this collection, but I was able to get my hands on some of the stuff that I wanted. Anyways, these were the few products that I wanted. So I got the pressed powder palette, the eyeshadow palette. I got one of the Luna blushes and then also the Moonlight Lip Bundle. So basically in this collection, there were, let's see, I'll put it up here for you, but there was the eyeshadow palette. There were two blushes, two lip bundles you can get. And then so within that, they came out with two different ultra blotted lips and two different lip glosses and then split them between the two bundles. You could also purchase them separately. And then there were two body glitters. I do believe that was what was on the menu for this collection. And like I said, I got the things that I wanted. Uh, it is sold out. Like I said, it sold out pretty quickly as I certainly figured it would. Don't know why I never put my glasses back on, but it says email me underneath everything so it makes me think that things are gonna come into stock eventually or back in stock but either way the eyeshadow palette was $20 the blushes were each $12 I got the shade from the moon and then the lip bundles I got the moonlight one that comes with the bunhead ultra blotted lip and then sailor moon the ultra glassy lip and that was $15. Separately, each of the lip products was eight bucks, so you saved a dollar there. So, I am very excited to crack on into these with you guys. The palette and then the blushes, they did, I forget what it's actually called, but where it does that thing, her mouth goes from closed to open to closed to open, which I think is adorable. I love the color of it. It's very Sailor Moon, very pink. I wore my little moon and star earrings as well today. And the actual palette, oh, she's pretty. I was a little, I'm not gonna lie, I wasn't like, 100% thrilled with this palette, the color choices. I think, for me personally anyways, like being a fan and being someone who grew up on Sailor Moon, like adored it, drew it all the time, always watched the anime, always read the manga, like was just obsessed with Sailor Moon. I think they could have done better. I also think and hope that they should come out with more Sailor Moon collabs and do like different things for each of the Sailor Scouts. Like, can you imagine a Sailor Moon palette, a Sailor Mars palette, a Sailor Jupiter palette? Like, shut up. ColourPop, A, you would make so much money off of that, and B, Sailor Moon fans, wouldn't we all be very excited? Yes, we would. But like I was saying, I think the colors on here could have been a little different. Like, first off, I feel like quite a few of these shadows aren't going to either look the greatest or show up on anything past... I mean, I... I would like to hope the matte shades would show up on a medium skin tone, but I'm just not sure. They're really, they're light and they're kind of pastel-y. But I would have loved for the Sailor Moon to get that red, that nice red that her, the color of her uh, school uniform bow is, and then also her boots and her bows on her actual Sailor Scout outfit. I would have loved a deep navy blue that would match her school uniform and Sailor Scout outfit. The skirt portion, like that would have made sense to me. I do like that they've got the yellow, which is kind of the color of Serena's hair. <laughs> Serena. Can you tell I grew up on the dubbed version? Bunny's hair or Usagi's hair. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I'm happy with the palette. Don't get me wrong. I just, I personally, being a fan, would have made some tweaks here and there. And then the blush that I got. This one has also got that packaging on it. So it's the scene where Serena, Bunny, whatever you're gonna want to call her, Usagi, she finds Luna and Luna's got the band date on her forehead. Poor Luna. So cute though. And then, oh, adorable. And then we've got little Luna 
pressed into the powder. It reminds me, I don't know, something about the illustration there reminds me more of Diana, <laughs> but it's supposed to be Luna. But I do like that it comes with a mirror in here and I do like the moons all over it. I don't know why they would put a mirror on the blush, but then not the eyeshadow palette. Like that's a little weird to me, but you know, it's okay. And let's take a look at this Moonlight bundle. I am excited. I don't think I've tried out their ultra blotted lips before. Maybe I have and I just don't remember, but I love the packaging on these with the moons, the nice gold moons. Both of these, they just, they look very pretty. So I'm excited to play with these with you guys. Go ahead and zoom you in a little more here. I've clearly already got, you know, base products on my face. <sighs> my problem eye is living up to its name today. It's being a bit of a, not a bun head, but a, a butt head and is causing me troubles and it's making me feel like I should not be putting on eyeshadow today. But you know, it is what it is. So I haven't put on any highlighter. I figured I would try one of the shadows as a highlighter or whatever. So I'm gonna try Silver Millennium. Oh my God, it almost feels like a cream. But you can see it's definitely like a yellowy kind of sparkle shade. It does sheer out though. So I think it'll do well for me for a highlight today. Let's find out my friends. Ooh, ooh, okay. Yes, definitely looks much more glittery on my cheeks, but I'm honestly, I don't hate it. Nothing wrong with a little glitter or a lot of glitter, you know? So long as it makes you happy and you're not hurting anyone, that is a go for it moment. But yeah, okay, there we go. It works now for the blush. Ugh, it's just such a nice, bright bubblegummy pink. I feel horrible dipping my brush into this, but you know, Luna, I'm sorry. I bought you to be used, not to be looked at. Ooh, pretty. Oh, yes. Super flushed, super blushed cheek, but like, so pretty. Blends beautifully. Oh. So nice. So pretty. Oh, so nice. I really think that looks nice anyways. Yay! Good job, Luna. I may as well use some ColourPop brushes. The F12 brush. It's a really big one. I don't know that it's meant to be used for the eyes. It's probably way too big, honestly. You're probably supposed to use this for like a highlight or something. But whatever, I'm just gonna make do. Prime my lids first. Voila! I say that like you would be able to see a difference. Hmm, what do I want my look to be today? Choices, choices. Okay, well, not too many choices in terms of colors. Well, in terms of colors, in terms of the matte shades for my crease. So I am going to go ahead and use Moon Castle and Twilight Flash, even though I feel like these might really clash with each other. You guys wanna be a little more zoomed in for this? Let's see, I was just gonna put this one a little bit lower down in my crease. Ooh, it's kind of a bit more bright and neony pinky orange showing almost. Maybe it won't clash much with the other matte shade. I was not expecting that, honestly, based on how this looked in the pan. I thought this was gonna be much more of like a rosy brown kind of a taupey beige. I and mean, I didn't think it was gonna look brown, but I certainly also didn't think it was gonna look, it's almost like a flamingo pink. I'm honest, I'm pretty shocked, honestly. But hey, it's got a good blend, so that's, that's nice. I just, I feel like Sailor Moon was so successful because of, I mean, A, the artwork was always beautiful, and then the author herself, Takeuchi Sensei, she, whoo, woohoo. All right, I guess, yeah, we're definitely going for like a neon -y, pastel look today, all right. These are choices that we didn't know we were making, but we're gonna have to be okay with it. Uh, but you know, she's said in many interviews in the 25 years of her making, probably one of the most beloved anime series of all time, you know, she just wanted to create a series where all the girls felt like her best friends. Like she just wanted to make characters that were super lovable and friendly and relatable. And I think for a lot of 
you know, girls and guys, depending, but mainly girls growing up. It just, I don't know. We certainly did attach ourselves to these characters. They really were, I mean, kind of your stereotypical kind of characters. I mean, Amy being the bookwormy nerd, she's quiet and shy. And then Serena being the loud mouthed, kind of obnoxious, ditzy, doesn't do well in school. Yeah, they're stereotype characters, but we loved them nonetheless. They were still fun. They still felt like our friends. At least that's how I've always felt. So I'm gonna go in now with Miracle Romance down here and hope that this brings a little bit more depth to my very tropical. Tropical sunset is what it's starting to look and remind me of. Whoo! I mean, it's pretty. I just, I really don't relate these colors to Sailor Moon, like, at all. I don't know, maybe I'm missing something, but I think there could have been some more classic Sailor Moon colors, kind of blended in together with these types of shades. Although I guess, you know, I do feel like this is making me feel like a fairy space warrior. So like, maybe that's more what ColourPop was going for in regards to this color palette. I just always, when I think about Sailor Moon and like how important it was to me as a kid growing up, I always go back to think, so um, my parents have basically been divorced all my life. And uh, so, you know, I was always going back and forth between houses, mom's house, dad's house. And at one point it was, I believe it was in middle school. I don't know, maybe like seventh grade, sixth, seventh grade. Uh, for my two lid colors, sorry to interrupt myself, I'm just gonna go in with Luna on the outer portion of my lid and then Silver Crystal on the inner portion. Let's see, I'm just gonna use this e.l.f. eyeshadow brush. This Luna shade was arguably the shade I was the most excited for. It's just such a pretty, vibrant, pastel, lilac color. But, so, in the case of my mom anyways, we basically lived in the same house most of my life growing up. I think we moved there when I was like four or five or something. And my dad had a condo, but at, you know, fifth, sixth grade, whatever it was, my dad moved to a townhouse and, you know, that was exciting. Like it was an upgrade. At my dad's condo, my brother and I had shared a room cause it was, you know, just a two bed place. And now my brother and I were both gonna have our own rooms and, you know, two levels, washer dryer in the townhouse rather than having to go pay coins downstairs. And I mean, it was just, it was an upgrade and it was really exciting, but we had a chance to go and see the townhouse when my dad got it after school one day before we moved in. And I decided, uh, no dad, get lost. I'm staying home and watching the newest episode of Sailor Moon. Cause this was, you know, like before, I think you could buy VHS players that would record TV at this point, maybe, but we certainly didn't have one and there wasn't any, you know, DVR or recordings. So if you missed the episode, you missed the episode. And it was one of the, uh, Sailor Moon super episodes where, I don't know, things were just getting real dramatic with Hotaru and her dad and Rini and I, just, I couldn't miss it. And so I was like, Pfft. Like I said, get lost, dad. I'll see the new townhouse later. I'm staying at mom's and I'm watching Sailor Moon. I'm like, okay, Cassie, that was a choice. That was a choice that you made. <laughs> I mean, it worked out fine, but like, that's just how much I adored the series. I really did. I still have my VHS tapes of it, even though I don't have a VHS player. I just can't help it. I remember just saving up my dollars from doing random little cleaning around the house. Oh, Mom, I'll clean the whole kitchen if you give me 10 bucks. Okay. So I would do that and save up until I could go and afford a VHS tape at Target the next time we did a Target run. And it was, it was really exciting. And then I would just walk those VHS's all the dang time. All the time. I'm surprised they still work. Or I'm assuming they still work. <laughs> Cause oh my gosh. I just, I want, I, hey, worth every penny in any case. There's the look. I mean, it's a little, it's a little pastel-y look. I think it's pretty, but it is certainly not finished. Ooh, so this one is kind of like a glittery. It's not one of their pressed glitters. I don't know if this is gonna ruin it. Please don't ruin it. I love the way those two colors blended on my lids, but... Ah, yes. 
just adds adds some glitter sparkle. Oh, I'm so happy I did that. One of my cats is definitely puking. Oh, I'll have to go clean up that hairball later. I'm so surprised. In the pan, this shade looks so like heavily bronze. When you pat it onto your eye, it's it's very much a sheer glitter. These colors are throwing my color balance all off on my camera, I apologize. Now I'm just gonna go in with a little e.l.f. smudge brush back into a Silver Millennium, get my inner corner highlighted. And now I very well might regret this, but I think I'm gonna use Justice and pray that it doesn't look like jaundice on my lower lash line. Like I said, this might be a huge mistake that I'm about to make. But I just, I gotta know. Okay, maybe, uh, silly Cassie, I probably need to use an actual dense liner brush to get pigment, but I mean, hey, not super impactful, but whatever. I don't think it looks too jaundiced. Just jaundiced enough. Yay! In the name of the moon, I will poison your kidneys. Kidney failure? Jaundice? Anyone? Jaundice joke? Did you guys get it? Oh my god. There. Even more advanced kidney failure. Some yellow gold liner in my waterline. I actually really like the look, you guys. I suppose I'll like it even more once I get mascara on. Alright. Yes. I do like it much better with mascara. Although, my god. Like I said, color balance on my camera. It's not enjoying the yellows and vibrant colors. There, I just amped the blue way up. Did that help? Can you see it a little better now? Anywho, so I am curious to see what these look like on their own. <laughs> okay. Mmm, buttery cake. This just looks like it's gonna be a warm peachy pink with gold sparkles to it. I do feel like I remember not liking these glosses, especially because of the applicator. A, I just think these brush applicators, it just makes it feel cheap. I said A like I also had a B. Can't think of one now, but either way, it smells delicious. It's maybe even more of a creme brulee than like the vanilla cake, but here is the lip gloss on its own. This is the Sailor Moon lip gloss. It's called Sailor Moon. Not just the Sailor Moon collection lip gloss, but this one is literally called Sailor Moon. So, all right, cool. It does leave glitter behind for sure. Let's see. This is the ultra blotted lip in Bunhead. Boop. No smell? Maybe? Ooh. This is a lot brighter of a pink than I thought it was going to be. So much more mauve in the tube. Yeah, I really don't know that I've tried this formula before. Do you know kind of that light blotted lip kind of a look? As I said, I feel like it looks a lot more punchy once it's on the lips, but it's not a bad thing. Just expected it to be a bit more mauve. Now, I'm just gonna put a little bit of gloss over this because you know it's a lip bundle. You should be able to use them together. Yeah, I think that's a reasonable philosophy to have. All right, those look all sorts of magical and beautiful together, right? Just a winning combo. Very much a salmon-y kind of carnation. Punchy pink, you've got the sparkles from the glitter and the gloss. And I just think overall, I mean, this look all together, these products do look nice together, I do think. Not just in terms of the lip products together on top of each other, but you know, the blush with the lip products, with the eyeshadow. I do, I just, I think it's a really pretty look. So yeah, there you go, my friends. I hope you enjoyed just hanging out with me, getting ready, playing with this new makeup here from ColourPop in collaboration with Sailor Moon. As I said, I'm very happy with it. I mean, definitely very collectibly. I would make the changes that I said I would make, but I still am happy with what I got. And yeah, I hope it was helpful for those of you who weren't sure whether or not you wanted to get your hands on the collection if slash when they do restock it. Or, you know, if they come out with future Sailor Moon collabs. My fingers are very crossed that they do. So please do let me know just anything you want down below. Were you able to get your hands on anything from this Sailor Moon collection? Were you excited about it? Were you not? Did you grow up on Sailor Moon? Who was your favorite Sailor Scout? You know, just all of the things. Let me know them 
in the comments down below. You can also let me know if you just enjoyed this video, found it helpful, whatever the case may be, by giving it a thumbs up down below. I would really appreciate it. And if you are new here, Hey, hi, hello, how are you? You can go ahead and subscribe. You can tippity tap that notification bell down below. Become a member of my casserole family here on my channel. I would love to have you here. And as always, I just hope you guys are all doing well. And until next time, just stay well until then. Bye.